This is Francis from Easel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a quick start guide on tiling and kind of how to set that up. So essentially what tiling is, is oftentimes with CNC machines, the way that they're set up is that on the front end of the y-axis and the back end of the y-axis, there's just an open space. Typically, the gantry rides on each of the x-axis, x-axis is, which is the confines of the machine on the x-axis, but on the y-axis, usually there's an open space. So tiling takes advantage of that open space by allowing you to basically put a larger piece of material, a, a larger piece of material on the y-axis onto your machine, and then you can move it and carve it in sections. And essentially what that does is it allows you to carve larger pieces of material on the y-axis on your machine by breaking it down into sections. And so essentially, what that looks like is uh, typically when you set up a, a CNC project, it looks like this. You can see your material, your design, and then the 3D preview. One thing to note is this dotted line here. And in this instance, that dotted line indicates the edge of my wasteboard on the y-axis. And so my design is moving past the bounds of my machine. And so Tiling will be enabled automatically if you set up material that's larger than your wasteboard. I just disabled it. But essentially, when you enable material that's larger than your wasteboard, you'll see this purple line appear. And that's the tiling line. And essentially, what that is, is a line that indicates that your project has automatically been defaulted to tiling and has been broken up into sections to carve one at a time. You can also enable tiling by just going to the material dropdown and right here where it says enable tiling, you can click on yes. Then you'll be able to select the number of tiles. In this instance, two is fine. The process is the same for however many number of tiles you have. And then if the tiles overlap, and I, I recommend having the tiles overlap because when I simulate this carve, we'll see my first tile goes to about here. And then if I switch it to the second tile, it goes past the point, back into the first point of the first tile. And this is really great because when you're carving that first tile, it stops, there's a hard line there. Then when you come back and carve the second tile, if it overlaps a little bit, it's gonna remove that hard line and make it look like a more consistent one carve kind of design. And so it, it gives it that, I, or that sense that you carved it all at once but you're actually carving it as tiling. And that's just really cool. And overlapping it really gives it that, that extra uh, kind of finish quality, which I think is, is really important when doing a design like this. So that's how you enable tiling. And then when you go to carve the project, you'll want to make sure that the tile that you're carving is the tile that you have selected. And to select a tile, you need to click the check mark next to the tile in the uh, in the material dropdown. The first tile should be checked by default, but when you go to carve that project, you'll carve it, it'll finish. You want to make sure you go back into this material dropdown and select the second tile. And what happens when you select the second tile is you go and you click on carve, and what's going to happen is the carve menu is going to tell you that you need to align your material. And so when you start the carve, the start point for the first tile the bit will move out from there, go and carve and, and come back. That start point for that first tile is the measurement point for the nine inches you need to move your material down to align the second part or the second tile. So essentially you're measuring from the carve start point nine inches and then moving your material. So you wanna be really kind of conscious of that start point because that's where you're measuring off of um, as you go. And the other thing to be really kind of conscious of too is if I do three tiles, let's say I'm doing the third tile and I click on carve, it's going to tell me to move it down 12 inches and that 12 inches is again from that start point. So that's something to be really mindful of as you're kind of setting up your two-stage carve. And then essentially it's just running the carve exactly the same as you would any other carve. You're just kind of moving your material down, setting it up, and then carving from that new work zero point, which is just 12 inches, nine inches from your original work zero point. Um, the only other thing that I'll mention really quick about tiling that I think is really important is you wanna make sure that when you move your material down, it's, it stays square or it stays in the same kind of frame of reference. So typically what I like to do is put some sort of straight edge on one side of my x-axis that my material butts up to, 
And then as I'm moving it, it's moving along that straight edge and it's not shifting left to right on the X axis, which is, is where we see kind of a lot more problems with tiling. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but I would encourage you to uh, try tiling for yourself, see how it feels. Um, I'll post a link to our tiling long form video so you have that information as well if you want a little extra information. Have a wonderful day. To learn more, head over to easel.com.